Yeah, yeah, yeah. What it do, what it does, what it Spartan does. Guys. Back on the couch again, THC. THC. It's been a, a minute to record a podcast. Yeah, so it's, cool. it's lovely outside in PE. Yes. Weather. It's, it's calm, it's calm. Once again, with the stand one man, man's cup, with Adio. my boy. Adio Abrams, yeah. And a special guest on the side. Not Actually, special, she's like part of the crew at this point. It's just like, it's like the second episode. Can I say it's the second episode yeah, yeah, she's yeah, here? Yeah. So this is christening her. Can I say something? Hi. <laughs> oh, wow, that's what is, what is that? Hi. Uh, that's oh. the is that the morning morning person um uh, <laughs> voice. You see when I'm being recorded, then I go. Oh, okay. <laughs> scam. So, because we were just talking about like being a morning person, and I'm not, and she is. So if we were to ever do like a sleepover, dunk, I just put the mic in front. Of <laughs> so you can just keep your keep your mouth. Open. <laughs> oh, she doesn't even start talking. Start singing to you. I was just gonna say that. That's not even a good idea. Definitely start singing. Long day. But yeah, uh, she didn't. She didn't even actually introduce herself. She just said hi. Uh, we have, have, I'll do it. It's fine. We have Yasmin. On the side. Uh, I think I think last time we actually didn't yeah. didn't we didn't introduce her name trying to keep a bit of anonymity. Nah, you don't care. Yeah, she I said you were, but we're not trying to judge. Yeah, th- by the way, don't use that term anymore. I won't. I won't because they. I don't want Mac G to come for me, bro. Exactly, bro. Uh, um, shout out to you, big bro, you might, you might see that there's like only two of us, all three of us. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I forgot um, to address. Couldn't make it again today, but it's fine. You know we. Have to do yeah, yeah, adult. man, so is, man is life thing. Man, but we exactly. out here, we out here, dog. It's been how you been, though? How you guys Bro, been? I mean, you know, we had this conversation in private and whatever, yeah, yeah, yeah. Getting there, not great, but yeah, we move, we yeah, move, another you know? day. You know, you, I feel like you be, you be like, you be like sad sometimes, you yeah. No, I, I try. if you don't hear from me, oof, I'm I know. just watching, shit I'm like, and, I'm, time, and yeah. I'm like, literally hoping, I'll be praying for you, but like, my boss, I appreciate you, yeah, you might not like deep prayers, but like, God, that nigga. <laughs> <laughs> what is a deep? Prayer? My prayers are telling you I'm I'm gonna pray for you. <laughs> oh wow! <laughs> like, the intention is there, <laughs> but like the action, the the action yeah, is not. Yeah, sometimes it's just gonna slip my mind. But I thought I'm gonna pray for you. Yeah, oh, that's actually, yeah. Me say yeah. That. at least the thought counts. He's accepting it. The yeah. thought counts. Yeah, I yeah. think with me, I do the same thing. But like, if I tell you I'm gonna pray for you, and then when I'm actually praying, then I remember, oh yeah, I need to include this person because yeah. I told him. Do you know what I mean? What if you but pray then, then you, you finish the praying? World at that point. Exactly. Really? Oh. I, I'm I really like like I don't care about the whole world. Sorry to say. No, nah, that's fine. I understand that. Like I'm really like logical like that. Like I think just who didn't I mention now in this prayer? <laughs> <You know what laughs> <I> <laughs> <mean>? Really? <laughs> yeah. so I'm feeling like guilty. No, nah, because I, it's the same one every time. Like I'll think about like uh, let's say uh, make the HC a success. Oh yeah, yeah. Wealth in health in. Yeah. I mention as well every elf time. And all the elves. Yeah. Every elf I can think yeah. of. Yeah. So now, when you pray now, if you have to like bring up people that wronged you, you be like. I would be like, God, you know, you know that person. Strike that man down. Yeah, you know. Ah, it's not that deep for me, though. I don't even, I don't even pray for bad. Like, I don't pray Nick. When I pray, it's positive prayers, it's not negative prayers. I don't pray God to strike people yeah, down. Yeah, so do you? I feel no? like she does. I yeah. don't lie, as in. <laughs> I can see Never. your face. It's <laughs> <laughs> glitching there for yeah. a second. It's like, because why did that No come judgment, to your mind? though. No, because, uh, you know, when you think, like, oh, I'm going to pray, so, um, like, just randomly. Do you ever think of that person that wronged, wronged you? you? Uh, that's interesting. I don't think so. I think <sighs> I think it's more of like a, a sex thing maybe. We'll just sneak in there. And I'm like, oh. During a prayer? But <laughs> it's like imp- impulsive <laughs> thought, man. You know what I mean? Like I can't help it. And all this act, this guy acts so innocent. I want, I want to expose Adel on the like on the show and oh, show his true long side. Day. <laughs> Bro, this guy will never like, cause this guy thought the shit that you be saying, the stuff that you be saying. Shout out YouTube. The stuff that you be saying is is, is is off camera is crazy. I think it's that's that's me. It's fine. Like there's a level, and you go. Woof. Yeah. I'm I'm free spoken. Like like yeah, I, this are. conversation, we always say like, how comfortable are you with living your truth? Yeah, yeah. I think I think I'm trying to walk in that in that path every mm-hmm. day, despite the fact it might really get me cancelled. But it is what it is, though. I you think know? the two of you deal like you do it very well. Like you unapon- un- unapologetically yourself. You know I mean? you yeah. Know I mean? like you're not it's just a good thing, though. Rather have people hate you for who you are than rather than not who you are. And you are. also don't care, so. I think I do care, but not care to the point I should actually change myself yeah, about yeah, it. You know, I do kind of be like, oh, yeah. he doesn't like me. Oh. When I was like younger, when I was like 19, 20, 22, around that age, then I was very like going under like an identity crisis. Yeah, yeah. Check, like I was trying to fit in with certain people. Yeah, 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 yeah. To trying to find you. Yeah, food. but at this point, I'm like, who gives a damn? You know what I mean? Like, it's yeah. not that. 
But I do look back on it and I'm embarrassed because I'm trying to fit in with people that I don't even like like that. You know what I mean? True, true, yeah, true, true. So and a lot of people are unlikable. Time. You guys are weirdos out there. Unlike. Like there's nothing wrong with him per se, but it's just not my people. But I feel like we've all maybe gone through that in yeah. our younger years. Yeah. Like identity crisis. Yeah, where you like, you don't know where exactly you fit mm, in. Mm, mm. You know, you want to be with the cool kids, but yeah. you also... Yeah. For the nerds type thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I heard it. And now, how you guys feel? Do you guys feel like now you guys are like much more like it hip to who you are, much more like knowing of who you of self. I I don't know. I feel like I am who I am. Like that's just. But the yeah. thing is, though, we had this conversation recently about not like kind of a whole thing of like being at this big age, you would probably know who's your friends and who isn't your friends kind of thing. You know? Facts, 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 facts. And I mean, not to start to explain. And who you can be comfortable around. 100% be yourself and speak yeah, yeah. about what you want to speak about type thing. So I guess there is that, but I don't know. I, for me personally, I'm pretty like solid with the people that I have in my life that I consider yeah. family even. Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, I would say that. I kind of feel like I, mean, I used to like myself when I was younger. Not that I don't like myself right now, mm. but I just like when I was young, I was much more like, you know, like when you grow up, I think I had this conversation, when you grow up, yeah, there's like certain standards that you have to live by. Oh, you're this age, you need to act a certain age. Yeah. You know, and that kind of mm. like doesn't really, you know, because mm -hmm. like in course we have this terminology called this dima, which is like self-respect. Like, mm. you know, you gotta like, mm. so you're that you always consider that when you're like, guy, oh, it's dima some, you know, and that kind of doesn't really make you, you know, free. Mm. But I'm working through it, though. That's nah, right. as you should. I mean, but I, I always say, like, I always think this. I don't say it, but I always consider the fact that, like, at 17, eh, I could still take in new information. Do you know what I mean? Like, you could still learn. At 17? At 17. Like, I don't think, like, the knowledge or self-progression, so to say, like, ends. Oh, yeah, you true. Just as long as you're living. As long yeah. as you're living. And, and you continuously to better yourself in every yeah, facet that you Evolve can, so. on a daily basis. Yeah. Unless you have dementia, and then you go back. Mm. Yeah, That's oof, one of the things I'm scared of. Very scared of them. Because when I <laughs> look at very, very scared of them. <laughs> you know like <laughs> when I was like in high school, yeah, I used to most now uh, per my hair and mm. GHD and all of that. Bubble. <laughs> so <laughs> imagine <laughs> me 70 going back to that. I used to start dying your hair. Dying my hair blonde. I and would bubble. laugh at yeah, you. Just jokes, <laughs> never imagine. That's crazy though. But, yeah, but what, was, what were you speaking about originally? Because I wanted to ask Yasmin how she feels about like your friend circle and like the fitting in thing. You think you're done with that now or what? Yeah, I think my my friends that I have now fits my personality. Yeah, and they know you. Yeah, and um, like okay, I'm more towards the nerdier side. Yeah, I yeah, feel yeah. Like. So Artsy, I have Artsy. I have like a group of friends that will fit my outgoing, mm. extroverted yeah. side, and then I'll have friends that fit my mm. introverted. Mm. So basically, you're saying you're ambiverted. Ambiverted. Yeah. yeah. Me too. I, I have outside friend and inside friends. Yeah, and you're I've introverted. Been introverted all the way. I obviously there was a point where I was still trying to figure out like, yo, you know what I mean? Am I ambivert? Am I extrovert? I was never gonna be an extrovert to be fair. Like that was concrete. But like ambivert, maybe I do like going out sometimes, which I do. But like I don't like the club per se. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, but so you don't even like you don't even like drink. So it's a bit nah. weird. It's a bit weird when you go, like I don't like being around drunk people sober. Like yeah, I, I, I don't that. mind that. I love being around drunk people sober. Really? Because they are so funny to me. And it's like I, rem I remember everything and they remember me. Nothing. And then I have this little thing over there. Like manipulation oh. over there. Jokes. And that, is, that is a you I like thing. I like, to play <laughs> I like to play jokes on my friends. So yeah. like, don't you remember you? I was going to ask oh. you now, do you do that next morning somewhere? Yeah. Do you remember you? Kiss, you kiss, do you kiss? I was about to mention this. <laughs> 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 you kiss that guy. I'm like, oh, really? I kissed him. Crazy. I would like to tell them, no, you were flirting with the toilet cleaner. Thing. <laughs> <laughs> crazy. Like, that. that's, that's like you can't up. take me, like I can't take things seriously. So now yeah. if, I, if I see an opportunity to be like, you know, to, go to, to play I'm around with them. It, I'm taking it and I'm riding that wave until I can't anymore. That's just, just, I would hate to be on the receiving end of it. Because I'm yeah. very much, I'm very like, I, I can't believe like, you know, I did this or did that. It's yeah. embarrassed easily. So if you were to tell me like, yo, you did this, I'd be like, what? Bro, <laughs> me too. I'm like, sometimes I cringe with the stuff I do when I'm drunk. I'm like, yo, you did this. And I'm dead serious when I say it. So and a lot of people believe me now. Just, I I'm like dead it, serious. Bro. Like you, you can't tell if I'm like, Lying or Clowning what? or not. And yeah. I'm such a narc, if you did that to me all day, I won't speak to you, bro. 
Really? <laughs> yes, my brother. Because why would you make me stress to that level? <laughs> why would? But why would you stress about something you have no control over? Yeah, and it's you because you it's blacked like out. It's an impression. And you, it's you, and you literally remember everything. Yeah, I understand. Yeah, but I think for me, it's more of a, like an impression thing. Because maybe there's women around the ho- scaring the hoes. <laughs> we don't want to scare the hoes. We <laughs> don't want to scare the hoes. Can't You're be like playing Kendrick at the party. You go scare the hoes for real. Yeah, bro. But yeah, anyway, guys, yo, we have an agenda. <laughs> we again we're immediately yeah. going into stuff. Um, there is something that I do want to talk about. It's not. It won't be very like relevant by the time this drops. I don't think. But like, um, and I didn't mention it before. And but like, can we talk about it? I don't know. Well, it depends on what it is. Um, the shits and gigs apology. Have oh. you seen that? What do they do, guys? I'm a, I'm, I'm a, I'm a hermit abbey What do they do? So basically, they had gone on two different podcasts, right? So the one is flagrant with Andrew Schultz. Yeah. yeah. Right? So they went on there, and then um, they were talking about the black girlfriend effect. You familiar with that? No? Yeah, yeah. So they were basically explaining to Andrew what it is, and Andrew was now making fun about like not making fun, making fun of like black women and the reason why they grow the beards is because when they slap them there's a cushion and oh, wow. like that you check they basically dog i think i saw the Russ version when, when Russ face say when oh Russ said that uh, white people would like to um play with black trauma because they don't really know what it they don't would. understand yeah understand. that's interesting but no but like the whole thing was like he was just dogging on like black women and whatever and so uh the shit and gig guys were laughing at yeah. the joke Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So the whole thing was basically something about they didn't defend the black community yeah. or something, right? Really? Um. Yeah. Somebody on TikTok was like, "Oh, what do you expect from those guys? They come from the most racist country, mm. so obviously." They don't. Uh, but I feel like they laugh at everything. Yeah. They do. I mean, sometimes the things that they laugh at isn't even funny, but they're like they're laughing at it. Up, so yeah. Like, do you feel like once we actually get to that level? Like, do you feel like when you're a public figure, do you, you have a certain sense of responsibility to actually, f- of like being moral and also speaking for people, or like that's speaking on injustice? It's, it's great that you asked that question because that's what they mentioned in the apology. They were like, no, um, we feel like it's our duty to protect the audience, their, their people and whatever, whatever else. Um, and he was basically, like James was basically saying, no, um, in your mind, when you watch that back, ne, you think, if I was there, I would have stood up, kicked the cameras, kicked the lights, smacked that bra. <laughs> yeah, that's oh. what he said. But it's like when you're in that environment, you yeah. never do that actually. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? And it's true. It's, it's fact. And it's like you're, you're around like homies, man. It's like yeah. you just like, like banter. Yeah. But like, I think you need to filter out certain things you say though. Yeah. And that was another thing he said also. He said, he, uh, well, Fuad mentioned that like he thought it's just going to be a guy's chat, blah, blah, blah. Um, did you see the, the response? Andrew that Schultz's response? No, I didn't see his response. He's very ignorant, that guy. It's not that he's... Uh, maybe he's ignorant because he's a white man. But um, I think also r- lots of people are saying if you know Andrew Schultz, if you watch his podcast, if you l- watch his comedy, that's just the type of person he is. That's he the is. type of jokes he makes and stuff. I get that. I but me like personally, I don't like the fra- flagrant podcast. I only watch it when there's a specific guest on. Yeah, yeah. Because they also very much like between them and shits and gigs, their jokes are like boring for me. I can't yeah. explain it really. Anyway, to the point. So... They reacted to the apology. So they were basically, like, he was basically dogging them also, man. Kind of like every time James would say something, then he'd say, pause the video, and then he'd say, I can't believe, um, like, with the protection thing. Yeah. Then he'd be, like, sarcastically saying, oh, um, uh, I'm sorry. I thought we were supposed to also protect our people, and basically dogging yeah, yeah, yeah. them that way. So, yeah, I was just like, this is a weird thing. But, like, my question to you guys actually is about this whole thing is, like, do you think it was... Um, how do I put this? Because now this is Shits and Geeks' first time being in the limelight no, in this way. Yeah, 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 yeah. controversy. Sense. Yes, and also having a quote-unquote beef, I suppose. Because mm. obviously, they go to the podcast, and then when they go home, then they start complaining and doing stuff. Yeah, 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 this yeah. And that. So now, and the responds now to that by basically, I suppose, saying you could have said something in the, in the moment. Basically, he threw them under the bus. Exactly, basically. yes, exactly. So like he's not a stand-up guy, though, for that low-key. Because, um, what's it, other ones, I've been preach. Also mm-hmm. reacted to this whole thing, and they brought up this old clip of James and Fuad speaking, and then Fuad basically tel- telling the story about this white woman that looked at the black woman and said, "I wish I was black." And then Fu- James is like, "Oh God!" <laughs> <So it's like laughs> wow. <laughs> I suppose in the est- in the sense that like the message is, "Why would you want to be black?" Kind of thing. 
yeah. but I don't think that is I don't, the case. I wouldn't it's, take it as that, but I, I would take wouldn't. it more as like cultural appropriation. Mm. Like you already took so much mm. from black people. Why? I also think now why you, now you want to be them? Right. But I well, guess also like everybody mm-hmm. didn't people, really yeah. experience racism in that place, and maybe she g- that woman grew up in a family that Sheltered. wasn't racist. Mm. So it's like to her, it's like wow, this. Exotic That's the standard now. Mm. Yeah. Because, like, back in the day, the white man was kind of like the, you know, the standard in a sense. Like, that was what everyone wanted to be. Women would straighten the hair, whatever the case may be. So, I think to d- in today's society, like, that kind of switched around. Mm. White people want to be black now. They want to be immersed in the black. That's so more marketable, man, being you a want black to ask person. A question? No, it's just, uh, d- don't you find it interesting that, like, they kind of, I, wo- I won't say shying away. Because people are basically implying that they are those people behind closed doors. But now because they got Ooh, called out on a public platform, that's, that's they're like, oh, we're sorry, blah, blah, blah. But like if Andrew and them are chilling cameras off, they would have cracked themselves up for yeah, those yeah, jokes. Yeah. You get me? That's what they're saying. Um, I feel like maybe it was just a mistake on their part. Or maybe it was just in that moment like, uh-huh, I'm in your house. Yeah. So, mm. you know. That are like play by Yeah, role. like mm. wha- I don't know what to do now. Like, you know, if you visit someone's house. Yeah. And the mother or the father will make a joke and you'll be like... <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, I, yeah, 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 yeah. So I feel, I, like see I feel like it's that kind of situation. And I mean, it's not just a learning curve for, mm. them. for them. I agree. Like with society, bro, when you're actually a public figure, they come down on your heart, yeah. bro. Mm. Like they come down on your heart. Like I feel like if we get to the point... I mean, let me say when when mm. we get to that point, I'd actually have to go read Malcolm X, the book. Mm. So I don't really like... Yeah. Like offend anybody, and I'm like I'm not trying to be like um uh oh I don't want to really be a role model. I don't because I I mess up more than anybody that I know. So for people to actually look at me and be like, oh that's who it is behind closed doors, it is kind of absurd because I'm not like a offensive person behind closed yeah. doors or have any ill tint or but ill intent towards people. I feel people. like people are too sensitive. They yeah. are, bro. True, true, true. Say they really are, man. But what can we do? How can you eat that? Like, what can we do? You already and I mean, like, already there are so sure. many other podcasts that deserve to be cancelled, like that for Ten Fresh mm. and the Whatever podcast. Mm. What's it? Blue Pill or is it Red? Blue, no? Red Pill, no Red Pill. Mm. What, what are they doing there? That Red Pill content. Yeah, that it's that traditional man, traditional yeah. woman. Dead wife. Oh, oh, those guys, those guys are always shouting at women. Yes, <laughs> yes, <laughs> basically. Yes. Those guys sound like they have pent up aggression towards women. But you know what's funny? That's what you said now earlier is that like we at this point now, we're not big, but we want to be there and we will be there, right? Yeah. Do you think like it's better to be ourselves early on? So when the time comes that yeah. we are big, you know, yeah. no one can go back and be like, oh, but you said this or you said that kind of thing. Because like I will dog I mean, on Red Bull right me now. If you're going to fault me for what I said 10, 5 years ago, then that's you, bro. Because who I am then yeah. is not who I am now. Yeah. Yeah, I just understand. And you know, as you grow, sponsors also have a lot to say about the type of content you put out there. Mm. So yeah. if you get a sponsorship from Coke or something, they will be like, okay, I don't want you to mention this. I don't want you to talk about this. That, and I like that, filter that. you. Yeah. yeah. I don't want that for me, man. Like, I don't want, like, I want the success of everything, but, like, I don't want to compromise too much of myself. I understand literally trying to be, like, compliant to certain things. Mm. I don't really want to compromise who I am, yeah. man. Because, yeah. like, at, at night, it's you who lays and be like, ah, oh, I did that. Or check, though. You know? Mm. But it's all, like, sacrifices, though. Like yeah, but depends. I also notice, like, um, s- uh, it all depends on the brand, bro, because certain i watch a lot of youtube content so i, s- I see like manscape for example sponsors um they they sponsor a lot of podcasts where it's not where they not no boundaries but they sponsor shits and gigs so they yeah. talk about a lot of things that are like you know genuine yeah. whatever it's not like um they won't sponsor like fresh and fit to someone who supports like hitler or something you know what i mean like <laughs> oh wow so there's like a line and i yeah. think there are certain sponsorships that will allow like certain things but like there is definitely a line so we might not get the Coke sponsorship, but we get something. Coca Cola, hook us up. I'm drinking Coke right now. Yeah, it's no liquor. It's no liquor. But uh, can we move on? Uh, there's, yeah. a, there's a like, shift happen. I don't know if you guys are watching the news, right? There's this whole protection um, feast thing happening in, Inta- in Tata. A protection. Also in PE, we got to like pay protection fees. I know what happens in like yeah. the hood. Like, I stay in the suburbs. I've been privileged. I would smack a guy if he say, I need to pay 50 rand to walk the street. <laughs> I'd literally, why are, you, why are you tweaking? Facts. But, like, where I'm from, which is in Tata, they're literally closing down schools, bro. Like, 
children can't go to schools garages are literally being closed down because guys like the gangsters are literally telling people yo bro give me money or i'm gonna come shoot this place up and in fact it's so small it really is bro and it's vi- it's violent bro but like it's also like spilling over to pe like in motherwell there's mm. people getting shot because of not wanting to pay certain protection fees so i want to know like how would you say like how would you deal with it like how would you like how, let me just phrase the question proper like how would you say we should deal with stuff like that though like speaking like trying to like show about diversity you know, I future, future, look future. let me just i just want to add on to that um i used to work in uh not in clary park but like across from clary park so I have to have to take a taxi from I don't know Calvin or wherever yeah. Fairview even um, through Katanga, bra Ooh. that owns his day every Ooh. single day, man, bro. Ooh. And, and they stop the taxis, yeah. With a gun in hand. I don't know. I've never really seen a gun, but I'm assuming they might have one. I don't know, but because how can you stop a taxi and not have a weapon? I right? feel like as people, as people, we become so passive to terror. Yeah, we become desensitized. It's such a normal thing. Like, like so passive to like terror to the point that we can't really mob justice. Mob justice? Yeah, I don't know why they wouldn't though. But like to answer your question, I have no answer, my bro, because I think it's a communal thing. Mm. Or also police, but like they don't do shit. Police, my guy. they don't do nothing. Cause it's kind of it's kind of stressing me, but I'm thinking to myself, like, why can't people literally? Because like at some point you can't <laughs> complain always, bro. You need to take initiative and fix an issue, dog. I know in the Malaba area and there are ice they have that um what's it called? Yeah. Those guys don't play around. Those guys And shout out to them. Around was like rifles. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. But um according to gun laws in South Africa it's illegal to even point a gun at someone with a killer kit. Yeah. So you can have the mob justice but then you're more sorry to say but you're more fucked than the Oh, oh well, I mean, Pagat proved you wrong, my bro. Because <laughs> <'Cause> <laughs> niggas be moving crazy. But the thing with mob justice is the reason why it works is because you can't arrest all these people. Exactly. Say, so as like if it's mob justice, then nobody can identify like this person did this or whatever the case may be. So that might be the only way because Saps isn't doing nothing, my bro. That owns just they can't even run from here to there. Bro, I was chilling with the other broski uh, a couple of weeks ago. I was like, I work for he works for Metro Police. Bro, you see the gut on that man, bro. I was like, bro, how are you working for as a public defender or, or like a person who's like protects society, mm. but you literally can't even run to, you know, yeah. chase anybody. I was yes, like, that's why they have cars. I don't know. Yeah. But you right. think it should be a criteria though? Like if you, you need to run a certain... Yeah. Mm. yeah. Yeah, I mean, I think so. But, but most of them, they don't even leave the station. Or they'll just drive around. Yeah. Like, I mean, was that shootout? Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> you wanna touch they on that? Uh, they arrived after everything happened. Oh, like, but it's also like where you are though, because like in the northern areas, but police don't respond as quick though. It's a decent though. area though, mm. and I mean the police station yeah, is, is not really far from. Is it really decent if they shot it up though? Opinion, yeah. Is it really decent if they shot it up? We had this conversation before. So, are you telling me if like a shootout happens at Full City Lorraine? It's not a decent area. Not decent anymore. It's been stained after that. Nah, but like one, do you know what I mean? We're talking about consistent behavior. That I can understand. Yeah. But it's also about like uh like race. Predominantly Lorraine wouldn't really wouldn't really be like, ah, oh, it's bad in Lorraine because it's white. But people you know what I find time. so funny? A lot of um gangsters and yeah, they all reside in the white suburbs, area. yeah. Is, yeah. is that because they like, they like made it or what? Um, Not always wanting to look over your shoulder, I guess. I suppose that also. Because like, but at the end of the day, they're like, if I like, okay, they probably love Lena Western, let's say for example, and then they'll go every day Galvin because that's where the operations crack. So yeah. it's like, there was a guy, there's a gangster got shot in Sherwood at the at the Uco. Shot that guy, like. Bah, 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 bah. Like, it's crazy. Like, literally came from him from, but it was colored people. It came from him from, like, wherever they came. Bro. And they were mm. following him the whole entire time. So, it doesn't really help if you go stay in the suburbs and you're doing dirt. Yeah. It's all that they were following But you see, the police presence is also. Sick. Yeah. Or well, it's better in the white area. Facts. Like, yeah. they'll respond faster. Yeah. Facts. I remember one time I was walking, I was walking, but I, and they thought, thought, I, they thought I actually had a weapon on me. And they literally, like, yo, get down. I'm like, bro, I don't have anything. 
a lady called them. I was walking past and a lady called them. Not even three minutes later, bro, pulled the guys pulled up. So I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, my bro, because they did the action time is solid. <laughs> but like exactly. But was it the police or it was the police? Security? It was not, it was police. It was police, police, SAPS in Kabiga. It was a police station. They pulled up so quick. So Crazy. quick. So quick. But I think also because you know, in the northerns it's such not the norm, but gang violence is so regular, regular. That it's difficult for them to keep up with everything that goes on. Okay, there. I have a question now. Would you guys date a girl that's like affiliated with Never. Or family member that's gangster. Um, knowing you, yes. Wait, wait. Huh? Knowing Words. you, yes. She would. No, no, no. I would no because I know her and I know oh. the type of person she is. So if I met someone that wasn't like, you know, the way you are mm. in y- affiliation, I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fine. But if you every day there and you're busy with Boa, let's maybe not do that. No, but like, yeah. let's say mm. the girl is living in the same house that. As the as the sure. jumped, maybe I the brothers on maybe yeah. the brothers the gangster yeah. yeah. It's like fifty fifty because they might want to shoot the girl mm. just despite the guy. Do you think that and happens? Um, Kidnappings and shit. Or family. It happens, um, you. It happens, bro. It happens, but not as often. Not it happens, really. and it and it kind of seems like ah, this is like ah, you were there, wrong place, wrong yeah. time, sort of situation. That's what I was gonna say. I was gonna say affiliate, not for affiliation, but I could. But I could meet someone there that maybe for argument's sake I went to high school with that's a gangster. And maybe I just take his hand, but I could True. get shot for that just because they saw me with this bruh. Do you get what I'm saying? So that's yeah, also yeah, 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 yeah. rough. Yeah. I could never date a gangster. Because like you know, I would get the ick if he gets shot and killed. Like, <laughs> 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 like <laughs> what? That's kinda so that's toxic of respectful. Of it's toxic you get and what the about ick of being shot like, like in your p- uh, Opposition, similar to yours, like a family member of these or something. No, like okay, then it's fine. But I mean, like, if you're a gangster, you walking around, you're like, I'm untouchable, and then you get shot. Even <laughs> if you survive, that's what happens I'm most of the time, though. That's really what happens. Ah, I can't get killed. Bah, 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 exactly. Like. Now you're walking ra- around, untouchable, thinking, you know, you're walking around thinking like you're this guy, mm. and then you get shot and killed. Embarrassing. <laughs> Wow, wow. Oh, wow. 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 That's been so that. toxic. But now look, yeah, I don't, I the ick. <laughs> Give her the ick. I don't wanna. Uh, in reference to maybe like a, a segment we might do later with the books and stuff, right? Yeah. You must now read all this, but so if you dated someone, eh, and let's say let's say he was done with gang life, for example, d- and he had like mad bullet wounds and stuff, would be that would you find that attractive? I only wanna um. lick the bullet wounds. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, imagine. like I wouldn't mind that, but I mean, if you're still walking around, like you know, they can't touch me. You're safe here because I'm here, uh, and then you get uh, killed. Please. Even if you survive in the hospital, you won't find. No, I'm gonna break up with him in the hospital bed. Yeah, I'm gonna be like, you know, Why I can't text do still this. Cold-hearted, and it's such an easy out. Also, you can just be like, you can't. You don't have to tell him it's an eco or nothing. You just have to like be you like, you got shot. Yeah, it's dangerous. I don't feel safe. It's dangerous. Ah, finish. That's and you know, like girls I love it. Like when a guy gets, because oh, he's dangerous. Ah, uh, embarrassing. <laughs> if you're untouchable, <laughs> you need to stay untouchable. Yeah, please. I heard you it. can't walk around. Oh, nobody can do anything to me. Wada, wada, wada. And mm. then, yeah, pa, you're Dando. laying in hospital, leg is off. <laughs> oh. <laughs> leg is off. <laughs> That's kind of crazy. <laughs> these jokes. Uh, but enough, enough of this conversation. This, uh, is, uh, this, is, a bit, this is a bit tough now. But like actually, as a man, why are you getting shot? <laughs> You got cat, you got cat lacking. You got cat caught lacking, dog. Unfortunately. Okay, okay, let me give you this scenario. What if it's someone that's not affiliated at all? Let's just say he gets shot like randomly. Like in a, you know, a random shootout, guy gets clipped. No, that's fine because I mean, you're an innocent bystander. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. if you are living by the yeah. sword yeah. and you yeah. die by that same sword that yeah. you are walking around. Kind of says that you don't, have, y- you don't have any empathy no, when it comes to those sort of people. No. No, because you knew what you were getting yourself Yeah. Into. You know, you know. You don't know. But now you're walking around like... But also, like, you you knew... Like, you know he might get shot. You're like, as soon as he gets shot, as soon as he gets shot, I'm out. So that's why yeah. you, you so go now into... if you're walking... Ar- let's say you're a gangster and you're telling us, no man will be able to kill you. I am the king of PE. Yeah. Da, 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 and then you get shot and killed. King of way. <laughs> King of who? Kind of defeats the purpose. <laughs> now, if it's shot and you say, it's still my man, nigga is not your man anymore. Because if He's you can gone. tell me, I'm the king of PE, show me you can go anywhere without looking yeah. over your shoulder. That's true. Yeah, that's fierce. 
That's true. That's true. But hey, guys, don't be gangsters, man. It's embarrassing. Like, if you think about it, now my baby daddy was shot. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> That's and crazy. Yeah, to be fair, when that nigga was alive, man, that baby and that mother was taken care of, man, because that drug exactly. man was crazy. Now, yeah. this chopper had no backup plan for when he dies. Now we're poor again. Long oh. day. Oh, man. Long Please. Day. This, life, this life thing is crazy, like though. Like, even getting arrested is, is embarrassing. Like, what do you mean you didn't cover your tracks? What do you mean put your hands you on your back? <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean you have the right to brain silence? <laughs> like, what do you mean you didn't think you weren't two steps ahead of the police? Of your enemies? They got up to you? <laughs> you yeah, nah, what you lacking? Like critical the thinking. Co- uh, uh, what <laughs> you lacking? <laughs> nah, bro. Maybe you shouldn't, cut, shouldn't be cut out to be a gangster. You should have nah, been a civilian. Jokes, bro. Yeah, guys. But yeah. Gangster. What else is on a topic? What else do you want to talk about the Diddy thing? Guys, the Diddy gang- thing. We're going to have a gangster. How much was it? 1,000? We're going to buy 1,000 bottles of baby Yo, oil. Johnson & Johnson is you upset. You guys believe that? Of course. You guys Why believe that? Why lie about that? Do you think it's false? I don't know. I don't really it's believe in everything. Po- it's in police documents. 1,000 baby oil, yeah, man, is it's crazy. It's that pref- 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 press, co- ah. press conference. Press conference. English here. Yeah, 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 yeah. And they discussed it. They had 1,000 bottles. Uh, like if, you, if you don't of know, lube and baby Please oil. take up. If you're living I mean under a rock and you don't know what we're talking about, uh, Puff da- Daddy, Daddy, Daddy. Yeah. Old doctor, what is it? Love. Love yeah. brother, brother, love. love. Brother, love. Brother, <laughs> love. <laughs> 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 man has too much love. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> thousand bottles worth of love. Yeah, that man was arrested for apparently sex, sex trafficking and... Yeah, and racketeering. Racketeering. What uh, is racketeering? Racketeering is literally... That's organized, uh, organized crime. Yeah. Oh, like, pl- so they also charging him with, like, mad... Just think, just think. Proper, Al- like... Al Capone. Yeah, but, like, is it, like, <laughs> literal, like, uh, thefts, planning thefts and stuff like that, or what? I'd Wait, say racketeering... Um, I'd say racketeering, from my knowledge, is just literally, like... Because I don't imagine... When you're is when you literally, like, strong arm people to pay you mm. certain stuff, you know? Like, no, nigga, Fair no... Fair enough. Oh, that could be, yeah, that could be true because I, there was a story that a rapper told, I forgot the rapper's name, but he, he worked with um, Brain Fires once. Yeah. So he was telling a story about him and Wale that went to the studio yeah. to work with Cassie. Yeah, yeah. And then Puff Daddy had his uh, uh, um, um, bodyguards hold Wale by his ankles <laughs> over <laughs> the balcony. <laughs> it's crazy. Because I he was mean, looking he at b- Cassie, um, Cassie. Daddy blew up Kid Cudi's car. Yeah, I heard that, bro. I heard that they say that's what that's why uh, people say um, J Cole and Diddy had a beef and that's why J Cole doesn't like ride cars anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Man is always like on a bike. <laughs> Man is always on a bike. That's jokes. Really, but that man is crazy though. Like even the videos, the footage, bro, of everything that's happening with that guy. Yeah. Even the casting footage is bro, crazy, th- bro. That man, uh, look here. There's there's lots of like this is um, Bin Laden and those owns there, but that man is. On that level of being close to a super villain, man, bro. <laughs> <laughs> like Lex Luthor. Lex Luthor. Who's like this? Daddy. Daddy. Yeah, he's like a... the super villain in my opinion, bro. Just the way that he moves and stuff. He goes on like he... Like that video with Cassie. Yeah. He's going on like he's in a movie. And you know what's insane? His lawyer was like, no, she abused him first. That's why she, he ran out. Like she hit him in the hotel room and then ran out without shoes BS on. Yes, me, bro. And it's like, really now? Yeah, that's BS. I don't believe it's that. It's a bit weird. How can they I have a question toxic on that to note? Lawyer. If a lady hits you and then like she hits you, she hits you, she hits you, do you feel like it's justified to hit her back? Mm, in my, I wouldn't. I just, I, I just, I just leave, honestly. Really? Because, uh, bro, what is the point of getting your get back when, because like after that, then what? Because I know some people are like really into that vibe. Yeah. They absolutely MMA Makar out of a fire, <laughs> show each other <laughs> what the rock is cooking. Ne? Yeah. Then, <laughs> <laughs> then afterwards they make up, they're in bed in the next morning. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, come I on, have man. Ooh, Grow remember up. the friend I told you about? Oh shit, I don't want to speak. Uh, I remember I told you one time, man, I knew, I knew a person who told me, actually wanted me to ask his girlfriend out to text the girlfriend. Yes, 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 yeah. She was here, bro, was recently. Mm. Bro, she was tweaking, but she was throwing cars on the on the. She was throwing stones on the car. True. She threw my shoe on the on the, on the tree, bro, for no reason. <laughs> <laughs> this girl, bro. So she was just like, "Fetch." 
literally, bro. She just my favorite. She she ripped, she ripped it aside on the on the side, bro. I was like, this girl, just bro. And I'm literally asking my friend, why are you still with that girl, bro? And he's like, I love her, dog. You see now that I don't understand. You see bro. what what I was speaking about earlier. Men, some men have a humiliation kink mm. because they'll keep going back, knowing you know. Yeah. So I think guys. Some guys thrive off that. But I think there's a fine but line because sometimes it's more of just like the toxic situation. It's not about what they say. It's about the fact that they're toxic in general. You get me? Yeah. So it's like, I I'm like toxic, you're toxic. I feel like nowadays you. people romanticize toxicity, bro. Mm. Yeah. Like mm. I don't, I That's bro, a brilliant way to put it. I don't. But like, not like going back to my, my, uh, my question, as soon as a girl raises a hand on me, she's not my girlfriend. Dog. I'm going to leave. Like mm. you can't beat me and like, because... The, the the odds are against me if I defend myself. You could literally yeah. say I hit you first. Mm. You know? That's true. That's very true, yes. So I don't like as soon as you beat me, I literally I'm like, I me and you it's not working out, I'm gonna split. You mm. know? Go find you another brother and that brother's gonna absolutely stun you. Bro kick you out of a fire. My mother also said, Don't be in rooms where they're gang banging. You know why? Because they're gonna implicate you. By just watching, that's you, fair. you watching, and the yeah. girl be like, "He was, he was inside me too." But you watching, you know, crazy. So my you mom just told had to me, be there type shit. Yeah, so yeah. I don't even like to be in situations that I'm like, hey, the odds are against you. Facts, but yeah, back to the study story, guys. Um, I'm not gonna lie, this man is going away. He's gonna him and R Kelly are <laughs> vibing. <laughs> <laughs> vibing. Um, They're gonna be lubing each other there. For legit. Did you see what Boosie said about the situation? What did he say? He I was like, if flying bitches out to get fucked is like so bad, then everybody in the is industry is guilty of doing it. If that is called prostitution. <laughs> oh, Faze and Love. Oh, f- sorry to cut you. Faze and Love said the same thing. Mr. Bones, that guy. Mm. Don't go down front, man. He said the same thing. But I was like, that's a bit iffy, though. Those guys are choosing sides. Because they're all guilty of it. They all probably exactly. They were at the Diddy yeah. party getting freaky. I don't know. I d- like like we we had this conversation and we both said that there's a very fine line there, because like at what point is it prostitution? Because this is a such a regular thing. Yeah. And then on top of that, there's accusations of like gay sex and stuff. But that's not against the law. And then somebody but somebody. Um, s- according to the court documents, a lot of the women were forced. Oh yeah, into against these their things. will. So pussy is now is. Addressing one side of it, but he is now leaving out an entire mm. a whole group of section women of that it. were forced mm. um, yeah. to take drugs and go to different countries and things. Yeah, in that case, like he's making a valid point, but in this circumstance, I don't think it really counts because the, he's being also charged for the actual like forcing of yeah. women to do things. So that's like a dragging women. Exactly. I, I, going back to what you said, our prostitution. Do you know if you actually fly a girl out, maybe from like I don't know. Um. Pretoria to put Elizabeth strictly for sex. It is prostitution. It is. Mm. Like I was, we were speaking earlier before you came. I was saying like, if uh, if a guy must like send me money and then be like, can I come pick you up? At what point is it like prostitution? Because <laughs> legit, legit, legit. <laughs> now I'm taking your money and now and you're expecting me like to put. Yeah. Out. You don't even have to yes. mention the word prostitution. Because you know it's an exchange, it's like an mm. unspoken exchange yeah. of some sort. And we spoke about how, like before we started recording, how a marriage is a b- almost a business agreement. This is also sort it of a business agreement. It is. Marriage is. It is a business agreement. Yeah, no, nah, but besides it, I'm talking about like the whole idea. Because I, I, I know Owens that would like have these women come over. He da- Owens do nothing. They just blog it, let the women drink, and then at the end of the night, you know what's up type vibe. You know what I mean? That's what happens in the, in the location too. You guy got a six pack of Bernini. And you literally and you tell the girl, yo, you're gonna go home with me tonight. And it's like, yeah, it's fine. I'm like, bro, you bro, you bro, you bought that girl dog with a six pack of Bernini. Exactly. Going back to what I said, I, I don't really That's like why you leave before the lights come on. Go on. Go on, girl. Go on. That's crazy, bro. That's why I literally said I don't like I don't like shit. Like I don't like being tunnel buddies with Exist, man, because they be doing that. You know, that's why, like, I don't like smashing every other girl like, as much as I like smashing. But girls. you know, um, those dirty parties they get so crazy that the women actually need like IV bags for the dehydration because they're given drugs and the yeah. they have to, like, the bodyguard said, Um, it's not in the liquor, it's in the juice. They dash the liquor with them, like, whoa, did he slick with it? He's really, really some Lex Luther shit. That's not like years of. 
prepping and figuring out how to go about this whole thing. There was a picture. There's obviously there's a lot of things coming out now. Yeah. So there was a picture of I don't know who it was, but it was basically Daddy's um, basketball court in his house. Mm. That man has a bed in there <laughs> for what reason? <laughs> in his basketball court, maybe. Just a bed there in the background. Uh, it no says it shows a lot. The, he also has that big bed he was jumping on with Chris Brown. It's a big ass bed in the backyard. <laughs> this bed is bigger than this whole studio, bro. <laughs> In terms of length, why it's uh, longer. Like, I was like, why would you have a big... That is could the most orgy thing I've ever exactly. heard. Exactly. probably could fit 100 people in exactly. that bed. Exactly. That's why? why that bed is there. That's crazy. Imagine the cum stains on that bed. But I'm telling you that Johnson & Johnson, they upset. What you know what I find so funny? It's a lot of celebrities are like, oh, no, I left the party before. Before so it got crazy. Everyone, you tell me, everyone left? You weren't a bit yeah, curious true. to yeah. see what goes Denzel, on? Denzel yeah. Washington once said, Leave an hour before the devil comes, because he went to a couple of parties. But it was like, who was this? Denzel, Denzel Washington. Oh, yeah. He says uh, he advised all Brendan, she, uh, Brendan T. Jackson. He's like, young, young blood, always leave before an hour the devil. Always leave an hour before the devil comes, because they be doing some weird stuff in that party, bro. Sure. Honestly, nah, but I believe it, bro, 100%. But you know what, for me, that's so crazy, is that Cat Williams interview, beginning of the year, the 2nd of January, that It's been a off. crazy year. Do you yeah. guys think, on, on that on that topic, now, do you think that he instigated, not instigated, but he started kind of, kind of... Almost like, like a dominant, no, almost like a, a butterfly, effect. a butterfly, yeah, effect, butterfly exactly, effect. because like once he mentions it, mentions it, now people are looking in that direction. Do you know what I mean? But you see, he's not the, the, fir- he wasn't the first person looking, to mention the Diddy party. So, um, 50 Cent spoke about it. Yeah. Everybody, yeah. like, throughout the year Exactly. Uh, I think 50 Cent said, um, did he say, oh, you look pretty, man. Let me buy something. No, you, you wanted to take him shopping. Yeah, I was like, you can go buy me nothing. And when an interviewer asked Daddy about it, then he was like, I thought he needed some clothes. Imagine. Big 50 Cent, you know. <laughs> Imagine me buying you clothes. Would you think I'm trying to pimp you out if I bought you? Let's go to take it out, my bro. I'm going to buy you a kit. Yeah, I think I'd be giving up not. <laughs> why would you out of nowhere come and be like... <laughs> yeah. you know what I mean? Like, what's the catch? What oh, I'm going to blow a bag on you, my boy. Nah, never, bro. But, like, there is obviously a brass cup. Like, it can be a thing, but, like, I don't trust, like, a you dirty know. situation. No, but Daddy and 50 had um, beef back in the day. Yeah. And then when... Because 50 said, like, when they eventually got together and, like, sorted it out, then Daddy was like, um, yeah, let me take you shopping. Blah, blah. What makes you think he uh, can't buy his own stuff? That's what I was going to ask. Is Was 50 Cent, like, on at this point? Um, oh, he's been on 50 many cent, 50 Cent first, he, w- he got shot most nine times. Then he went to Bad Boy Studios because Daddy messaged him or called yeah. him up. And then 50 said he felt like a weird vibe. So he stood up and he was like, you know, you wanted to smoke, whatever. And then Daddy put them out. And then that's when Shady signed him because nobody yeah. else wanted to sign 50 Cent. But yeah. now when did the clothes thing come is what I'm asking. Um, a few years after. Oh, when he oh, actually so had the so door. on at this yeah. point. He's so been a few on years after he was signed to Shady Records. Was on. Yeah. He was on, I think. Yeah. After 2005, he must have been on at some point. Yeah. Oh, he's been on. He's that been was on. like, yeah. But I mean, bro, like, like I said, like, there's so many things coming out now. There's that video of Travis Scott and Daddy. Did you see that one? Oh yeah, I saw that one. Wait, that is like, I don't know what he's saying. Something about we're gonna do this and that. Travis Scott starts running <laughs> 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 out of the blue. He just and the crazy part is, there's these videos also like emerging, bro. Like we took no, you take note. There's a video of like Tracy Ellis Ross, and they're taking shots, like promoting the, like he's promoting Ciroc and she's promoting her own thing. And then they're taking shots, and she's not even drinking. She's like putting, she's mouthing it. And then he's like taking shots, and she's like literally, ha ha. She's like just putting it in tongue and putting it so down. So interesting. And she, the people are saying that she kind of knew that Diddy was, you know. Yeah, on that topic, actually, another video that came out. This one I found so like this is incriminating as hell, bro. Neo, did you see that video of Neo? Oh, of the baby mama that's yes. like, yeah, J- Diddy Junior, tell yeah. me what you did. What talking what? about free coughs and bowel. A uh, old video, ne? Talking about free coughs, and then he's like something about the kids, and she's saying, "Shut up! You don't care about these kids. Mm. You see any photos of kids in this house? <laughs> <laughs> the room is no photos, nux. Really? Mm. Of Neo? N- of the kids, man. Uh, kids with Neo. Oh There's yeah. No photos. Who's saying it. shut up? Neo saying shut up. No, no, no. The wife, the uh, baby mama. Oh. She's taking the video. Oh. Unrelated, but your Neo's head, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't believe it. Oh, wow. Yo, oh, wow, yeah, I was bro. thinking Great. maybe they're making jokes. This isn't Neo. <laughs> <laughs> <What> <laughs> His is head is <laughs> <was> ginormous. <laughs> 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 oh, my God. 
Roman. <laughs> that rumor is big, and he said it was bigger. <laughs> oh wow, that's so crazy, bro. Wow, that's so crazy. But shout out that to Neo though. Big. But that I think, jokes. I think, bro, I feel like this thing, this whole Diddy thing, as time goes, a lot more is gonna be exposed. Not yeah, even like on some Diddy. Like people are saying, Jay Z's next. Yeah. 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 And Ellen, they said that Diddy was very comfortable, like on the Ellen show, and. Mm. Yeah, I saw. I saw there was and a post basically with like just photos of celebrities that are apparently involved and stuff. Obviously, yeah. we have even Obama, Smith, Michelle Obama, yeah, Oprah, la, like all these people. I was just looking. Your Cole met up, better not be on his list. And he was, but there was obviously something that happened there. Oh, you know then. Yeah, but you remember there was just now a whole thing with him. Mm. So clearly something happened there. Also, freak of dunga. But yeah, my guy. Do you feel like money? Money, having money kind of makes you feel like invincible, yeah. like it can mask you from 1, anything. Percent. And I think rich people, they get bored afterwards and they're like, they don't what know what to do with yeah, it. Yeah, what do I do? Thing, so you feel like you should be rich, but not too rich. Um, like if you'd have a billion dollars, would you, would you, would you want to, you know, baby or some, some guys up, some I girls up? So, I would, if I had more than I need, no? if I knew if I had like a billion. And if I give away one million, I still have so much left. I yeah. give away so much. Do you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, like yeah, there's yeah. just no point. I have everything I need type type shit. So I probably do Elon I'll probably pull a Elon Musk. I probably wanna explore outside the world. Mm. You know? I just like not really. I don't maybe if if maybe Elon is also a part of it. You never know. Yeah, no, let's that's I mean, we'll never know really, like you said, because what's it other Mark not Mark Cuban, the brother that always has the white white parties? Uh, oh, Mark, it's, oh, I forgot, I see the guy. Yeah. I forgot He's then. always with, like, Diddy and his rappers and making him do weird. But Michael like Rubin. Rubin, yes. Yeah. And bras, oof. So it's like, these owners, they don't know what to do with their money anymore, bro. Yeah, that was kind of crazy, though. But I, I will see as time goes, though. We will see as time goes. As time goes, I hope. But I think a lot of it is also very, like, just scandalous stuff. I, I feel like. there is that element of, like, crime. But like, also, there's a lot of scandalous stuff with like Will Smith that's apparently gay and closeted and all of that. Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah. we'll see. I feel bad for the kids though, because like sometimes people say you die for the father's sins, you know? Because those kids are never gonna get peace again, bro. There's literally gonna be pe- in America. People also remind you for of what you did wrong. Mm. Oh yeah, your dad be dad be lubing niggas up, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine, bro, you literally walking through through pick and pay, yeah. pick and pay America, and, and someone just pops up and like, bro, it's crazy. But uh, like you said, a lot of things might come to light because at the same time, these kids are very grown now, so who knows what they might know also. So the gist of the st- of, of what we're saying is, don't have too much money that you don't know what to do with it. Go jet skiing or something, do something normal. <laughs> like you no, know, what so I mean? some dolphins, bro. Literally, like there's so much you could do. Why? Why do you want to not do that? But now, what if you've done all that already and you've like, okay, um, do it again on a, lo- on a larger scale. Yeah. Do it on drugs at least. Do it yeah. on mushrooms or something. Hey, bro, but <laughs> don't now chase the dragon. Don't push further and further until bro, you're eating crazy. No, man. No, bro. But yeah, guys, I think uh, we'll see how it unfolds. I mean, when this drops, there's probably going to be some new info, but like, it's yeah. an story to keep track yeah. of, I suppose. Yeah. It's weird. I think the world is weird, man. Like, are you guys happy with the direction the world is going in? No. I feel like this world is coming to an end soon. Oh, I feel like the w- like everything is so expensive. Cost of living is high, and I feel yeah. like it we're not gonna last long on this place. In this place, I, I back that sentiment. I also think so. And because I mean, it's gonna get to the point where it's like nobody can survive unless you like. And become like Zimbabwe. Unless you, yeah, unless you're like a millionaire. Mm. I also think so. The rich get richer, the poor get poorer. One hundred percent. But uh, uh, you would think that, like, when when you say the end of the world, then you think very much like ap- apocalyptic type stuff. I was like hoping for that twenty twenty. Desolate land and stuff, but I don't think it has to be that extent to be end of the world. It'd be much right. more systematic. Mm, could be, yeah, could be. But yeah. I, you're gonna see the. I'm, I'm. I'm. Sometimes I don't really want to listen to the like the, the like the mass media and what people say. The world is gonna. I, I feel like. It kind of adds more to the to the stress Anxiety. that you have, yeah, mm-hmm. you know, and you kind of be like, oh, what am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? Maybe I should go rob somebody, you know? Mm. I, I don't know, but I'm still I'm still saying I'm gonna be a pastor if everything fails. Are you fails. like Are you afraid of dying? Me? Not really. I used to be. Not really. I'm I'm afraid, 
of how I'm gonna die. I, just, I literally said that yesterday. Like, oh, bro, I hope when I die, I hope God makes it quick, bro. Yeah, mm. same. Oh, God I makes, makes it to suffer. quick. Yeah, I think that's God like makes only the, the quick, dying bro. part, but like, you know, going on, I suppose, is like the thing that I'm personally not afraid of, but like, I don't know. I don't want to I don't wanna die. I get way. into a car accident, then 10 days I die in hospital. Hey, 10 days later, I don't. I don't want to do that, bro. I just. I don't know, bro. You're wasting time. <laughs> bro, days or what? like prolonging you know, the prolonging the inevitable. Exactly. I don't. But death itself, I can't be scared of the. Ne- used to used to scare me, bro. I used to be scared. Like last year, I I used to literally get drunk, and then when I come down from like the liquor, bro, I'm like thinking, oh my god, what if I die, bro? It's like gonna die someday. I'm gonna die someday. I'm I'm never gonna get bombs again. <laughs> I'm just like thinking some <laughs> deep stuff. I'm like, wow. Yeah, bro. No, so I don't think I'm scared of dying anymore. Dog. I'm just like scared of how I'm gonna die, you know. Mm. I agree. And, uh, but I wouldn't want to die alone, though. I want to at least die knowing that there's people around me who literally care Facts, about that me. That is also another. Just you know, alone I is crazy. For a second, there, I thought like everyone around you must die with you. <laughs> <laughs> like, 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 what, like what insane. you gate <laughs> it's selfish of you to think that <laughs> that's what I, I was like, like mass murder yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know that there's actually people who did that in america and america is a weird country like people are like yeah mass suicide then. yeah let's go to we're gonna go to a new world a new universe let's yeah, kill ourselves it's like cult vibes mm-hmm. bro why would you do that though man it's like that one um key and peel skit yeah. where they're like oh, <laughs> they funny get dudes. interviewed outside yeah. and the interviewer is like what happened and they explain everything and it's like wh- why yeah. would you <laughs> yeah what would you what would you do that <laughs> my favorite key uh, key and peel skit is that one with a um i think it's like a what do you call that thing like a election type vibe mm. and then oh. he's explaining gay rights and stuff and then they always <laughs> pan to one point they pan to him he's not there he's, like, <laughs> he's, he's gone <laughs> That is a solid skit. I like those ones where you actually did like to explain the college dudes, like like the roster. Oh, like yeah. <laughs> the like the the Marcus <laughs> yeah, I like those ones. Yeah. <laughs> I like I like that as well. That is funny. But yeah, 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 yeah. guys. Um, next topic. What we what we, what we say? What we say next topic? Yeah, I, time is almost up, so I say let's close out with that segment that Yasmin came up. Really? With. Yeah. Has so it been has it been that time already? That uh, is, it's five almost. to five to now. It's now twelve o'clock, so another ten minutes. Time really flies though when you're actually just talking. Yeah, hey, right. That's how we should can get paid for just talking. Yeah. <laughs> Inshallah. Okay. So. Uh, I'll, I'll, uh, so basically, as Yasmin reads these books, she tells me about these books all the time. I don't want to hear fuck all. It's so <laughs> cringe and boring. <laughs> I can't stand it, my bro. Because it's like all this mafia, bro, and it's not realistic. Like Yeah, it's just like on some crazy, yeah. crazy scale vibes. I don't know if you're going to like mention this one, but it's like one way like the 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 main character is like a woman yeah he's like wants to date this gangster what not date this gangster but something of a sort but he's du- doing like an initiation so she's running in the woods and he must chase her and bow like that maybe. that's part of the initiation no you see okay <laughs> <laughs> i'm so keen to hear <laughs> so it's not like initiation it's like you know there's a lot of kinks, a lot of fetishes, right? Mm-hmm. So the dark romance. I actually came across this book, these books accidentally. Yeah, yeah. So I'm like, oh my god, this w- the author needs like a therapist. But a lot of people are into primal play. Yeah. So primal play is one is the um, you are the prey, I'm the hunter. So I've never ga- in my life. Heard women that like term. that. It's like consensual non-consent. So it's mm. like I'm giving you consent to chase me and then take me basically in the woods. That's that's primal play. But what happens like after is is the high the chase or so is sex also part of it? Yeah. Like the sex happens when you get caught type shit. Obviously it's white people though. Yeah. Yeah. If there's a black person, that black person is not involved. <laughs> <laughs> not happening. <laughs> Gone <laughs> run, Yeah. That's crazy. So, um, yeah, guys, th- the point of this is like, we're going to have, I think, Stena, you're going to read out. Is it, a, is it a sex scene specifically or what? No, it's just like... Ooh, I don't expose my a reading. B- a bunch of different quotes from books. So it's not necessarily like... Yeah, it's like how they... So it's the things that the, the characters would say. Yeah, okay. 
So we're gonna, and then we're gonna like react essentially to it and see. Yeah. How it so feels. then you might just swipe. Hi. All right, yeah. I don't want to be swiping and I meet something I shouldn't see. Boom. Okay, swipe You'll right. You'll just see a bunch of screenshots, honestly. Right. Okay, you can. I don't want to swipe right, ne? Mm. So this is the first one, right? Yeah. Okay. Please never forget that the sun rises and sets with your smile. At least to me it does. You're the only thing on this planet worth worshipping. Seven husbands of eleven. Of Alvin Hugo. <laughs> is that it? Yeah. That's it. So what yeah. context? Because that was horrendous already. So it's like, it's a romance. Like, you know, the I like male the character it says is so... Your son, it says your smile, your, your... Please never forget that the sun rises and sets with your smile. That's some... That's that some is a bar. That's some mixed that vibes. There's a lot, <laughs> there's a lot of, like, good things. And it's like, these women won. And the other one, it says, I want praise... Uh, I want it badly, and I especially want it from this man who doesn't like anyone. Uh, who doesn't like anyone or anything. The bully by Sophia Locke. What? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what? And you know, like what? a lot of women have that way. Like a man must say, "Oh, you, you a good girl. Oh, look how you put your shoes on. You're such a good girl." Type thing. That's yeah, what yeah, women yeah. Want. Some uh. women want to hear. I was, about actually, I was about to actually ask, oh, "Do you want that?" That's what I'm gonna get at now. But how many do you have there? There's Bunch. more. There's well, there's other one. like one more, and then we'll talk about it. Okay, the other one is you can I be as high, you can be as you can be as high maintenance as you want, honey. But I own, I'm the only one who does the maintenance. It happened one summer by Tessa Bailey. What like fixing power around the house? What do you oh mean maintenance? Oh my god! <laughs> no, nigga, no. maintain. <laughs> she <laughs> thinks, nigga. <laughs> hey, <laughs> between uh, the lines. Yeah, I know. I'm not. <laughs> But these ones are pretty interesting, though. I like the first one. That's some riz. Hardcore riz. Mm. Yeah, some of them were really good. Like Yeah, yeah, I'll give it to you. That wasn't as bad as it, as it usually comes like across. Like, the, there was this one book I read. And I only read it because the ladies were on Ooh, TikTok. This one is deep. It says, I want to hug you. Fuck. His heart was turning over and over like a car engine. My hugs are, your recha- my hugs are recharging your station. Ooh. <laughs> That's heavy. <laughs> That's heavy. That's heavy. I can't lie. <laughs> okay. What is the station? So let's talk about it. So I, I know we've had this conversation many times, but it's like it just doesn't yeah. make sense to me. Like, would you I, I understand the whole concept of like if if let's say I was like flirting with a woman, for example, and I just bust out the poems, dog. Yeah. Like, is that something that intrigues you, or is it more just like like wordplay in that? Really? No, Since you're a female. Cause that's what she. Uh, nobody. She likes these characters. You, yeah, yeah. What if a guy? I feel like you'd cringe. You you get an ick from a guy being shot. If a guy must speak <laughs> to me, <laughs> you, can't even, you can't even die in peace. <laughs> if a guy must speak to me in the way the, the guys in the book speak to yeah. the female characters, I'm punching. I'm punching. So many, what are we doing? No, but you see, it's like. It's nice if it happens there, yeah, nowhere not near you. It's like watching a horror movie. You're enjoying the horror movie, but you don't want that horror movie to happen to you. Play. I understand what you're saying. Yeah. So yeah, I get that. Because like, but you always like talk about like the characters and how they're so sexy and this and that. So why is it now? I feel like she reads that thinking about yeah, Henry Cavill. Yeah, but you see, like, you're not gonna get the image that you create in your head when you're reading. Like, I don't know if you guys like if you read something. You Imagination. Yeah. You Imagine. don't picture a bra with a with a mach. I don't picture things of that nature. Uh, Ooh, I'm thinking about that guy you told us about. She told us about. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't picture from down the road. <laughs> <laughs> I'm leaving out the name. That man is famous in Calvin, boy. He must know. <laughs> and you must know, Nick. Try to call. Okay, sorry. Yes, that's a guy. You know what? I I like. I read a lot of books. Yeah. And I always say, oh, I want a guy that's like this. And then this guy <laughs> comes, Pulled and up. I swear. It's a lot about your imagination. Time. But I think it's just like a uh, fantasy. Yeah, like, like you know, I love all in a perfect movies. world sort of thing. Yeah, fears. But like, um, let me ask you this because uh, the looks is important to you, like the person that you picture and whatever, right? Yeah. But then on the other end, you were in a situation recently, and you said there was a guy that kind of he wasn't appealing, um, aesthetically. Oh, yes, aesthetically, yes, yes, but yeah. Because he was very like, oh, I got this vibes. She was like, oh, your hood's your, your beard. How did he got this guy? How, how, how? 
You don't have to tell the story specifics. Like, just say like. But you know, you stepped like in in a sense. When really? Uh, you see. And I like kind of did you like? Were you taken away by that? Listen, my thing is, I'm a problem solver. I like if something happens. Pragmatic. I, I go into that mode where it's like, okay, you know, I try to protect the people around me. Mm. Yeah. And then this man was like, and I was like. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like, okay. I was pressing the buttons. <laughs> that hair thing is so <laughs> jokes to me. Uh, uh. So, yeah. So, it's not it's really looks all the time. I would like that's what I was going to say. How does it looks? Because sometimes like it's more of like just the presence and. Yeah, and I mean, like. For protect and provide. And yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I think it's like be. just a female. I think it's a female thing. Yeah. It's in So, you can be so independent, but if somebody is like, you know. Yeah. Like problem solving, yeah. then it's like. Oh yeah, I think a lot of females don't really focus on the qualities of a man rather than what a man has, you know. Sometimes, so like they don't really look. Oh, is he a problem solver? Is he is he good on his feet? Can he yeah. like think? As long as they want, they have the money. Yeah. So some females don't really consider that. But you shout out to you though. You yeah, you're no, considering uh, that. Like though. I told you before we started the recording, I was watching this balloon pop thing, right? Yeah. And that shows th- like its whole premise is essentially kind of these women all want those three things. They want okay. to protect the protector, provider. Uh, what's the other pro- other one? Pro- protector, provider, and leader is the yeah. term that they yeah. use a lot. So it's like they are like that's a general like if you if you want to settle down, that's what they kind of look for type thing. Yeah. Yeah. So I can understand like women kind of looking past looks and being like, this is what I'm going for. Like, if you can mm. communicate effectively and, yeah, yeah. you know, certain things, that's are, even are more of those, those, those three qualities you just mentioned, which ones do you think you have? Jo, I am not, I, I don't have, I can't even provide for me. <laughs> 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 that's not on the list. Yeah. I, honestly, I don't think I'm any of those things. I'll admit it, honestly. I okay. would like to work and be oh, that yeah, yeah. person, you yeah, know yeah. what I mean? But, yeah. like, I, I can communicate effectively and those sorts of things. But, yeah. like... Lesson, are you protective? Lesson, we, you asked me a question the one day. It's like, what would you do if we like get into a car accident and we go into a lake and the <laughs> car's falling off with water? Will you try and save the person you <laughs> want or yeah. would you like save yourself? Yep, yeah. He told me he would save himself. I would have to sort myself <laughs> <laughs> Every man for himself. Like, would you say now in the car then? And then let's say three of us and there's something to break the window. I'll break the window, swap out, and then <laughs> 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 sort yourself yeah, give out. It yeah. Give it to her, not yeah. even swim around. And I said I to mean. him, I said to him, if we were like in the car and that happened, if he sees me rolling down my window, my window's yeah. going down and I'm unbuckling my seatbelt, yeah. <laughs> we must get ready to do the same because uh, literally, something's yeah. going to happen to the car now. And that's fair, bro. Like, I, I bet it. But like, even if we're on the road, combat roll, boom. Comment through, bah, 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 on my feet. Follow suit. Follow suit. Yeah, yeah bro. That's crazy. But, um, I know. I I'm not gonna say names, but like, I'll tell you after who it is. He was walking with a woman one day, um, in Galvin, Galvin mm. Park, and he was approached by like Mad Owens. He pushed the girl to run, and he stood his ground, so that he could like basically mm. help her get away. Cause yeah, my, my cousin. Guys yeah. like that. Yeah. It's just. Yeah. It can be how ugly, but if you're doing that, mm. like, yeah. like that guy. But that, don't you think it's also like an adrenaline thing? Because now you're all it like, is. oh, this I is such a man. I think, I think, I think like, I, my story, me personally, it happened to me once, but I was in prime, I was in high school, dog. The girl was dating, dog. We almost got robbed. And me, I ran away, dog. <laughs> <laughs> I ran away. But you see, adrenaline can either, it's either fight or flight mm. for now. Oh, excuse me. You also learn this person's way of thinking and, you know, like, if there's an issue, this person is able to solve that issue, yeah. no matter what. So I think it's also that also comes into play with all Yeah, yeah. No I think right is. now, I feel like if you like if you're old and you actually have a girlfriend, you can't really run away. Dog. You have to literally like yeah, stand no, no, your at ground. At this point, it's like not. You have to, there's like, no option of even if you're dating the girl for a week, you just because like bro, like you gonna like cut in the face. Mm. You have to literally stand in front of her. And be like, but I think it, it's it's a fair like I think it, it should be the way to go about things because not even just with like a woman and protecting and that I'm talking about like Kendrick mentioned it in the song that the song we basically said it's either when never let no one piss on your leg that actually happened apparently to Drake but Drake. It, yeah but let's use it as like a metaphor a overall metaphor like if someone disrespect you or try to do something to you whatever it's either you die right there or you crack him in the head 
yeah. type vibe. You get what I'm saying? Even if you take the the loss. Even if you're gonna get pummeled, dear me, bro. Take it now. You know what I mean? Stores. But you know what I mean? Like stand your ground once. I get that. Uh, th- I, I think get it was that. So, yeah. But, but yeah, I guys. I be thinking about the girls I die for. I don't. I think, I think the, the thing with me, my thing is, we can't both be feminine. I can't be the man. Hmm. Yeah. I'm the one fighting those battles and yeah. running. You know. No, I agree. Com- it's completely fair. Like in that scenario, uh, bra, you have to man up. There's no other option here. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because most of the time, okay, not to get into specifics about it, but it's like I could probably outrun the girl female. without you know a doubt. I mean? Yeah, majority of the time. So if I'm sprinting her and she's left behind, behind, it's a long day. Remember when you I told you I in high well, school, yeah. If a guy must do that to me, I'm the person that he must fear after that. Don't John fear God, fear me, because this. I'm coming, I'm coming <laughs> for you. Uh, <laughs> you you're leaving me in the dust? Yeah. Are you yeah. joking? You day. can't do that now, bro. You can't really do that now. That's really messed up. Yeah, no. But in high school, I like I remember that one time I got robbed, and then the girl, like I got mad at the girl for literally staying behind. I was like, why? Why are you going to stay? But you see me running. <laughs> when I run, you run. <laughs> <laughs> I felt so mad after, bro. I got yeah. mad. I lifted behind. I was like, you slow ass. Yeah, no. You slow ass girl. But I saw her some years that I was like, ah, man, I'm not going to die for you right now. Yeah, no. I mean, you know, as but you But things go, like that don't scare me also. Things like what? Getting robbed? Yeah. I mean, you're hip to it. But in what way? Do you mean you're going to tell her, bro, no, you won't give your phone, no. That type of thing. Like, I won't. Like, Be over. we will probably have a back and forth. Mm. Yeah. Give me your take phone. Why? If I die, die. <laughs> Why? Did you, did you, uh, he's like, give me your gun, give me your phone. You're like, why? You I'll probably do? try to fight him at some point. Really? Really? Yeah. Sometimes it's a matter of like, would you die for a phone? Like, sometimes you weigh out the odds. Like, would you die for a phone, though? I don't think it's more so the phone, man. I think it's more so the the the, the goal to actually yeah. come up to yeah. someone. The and like nerve. Yeah, yeah, the nerve to approach someone and be like, give me your shit. Like, it's crazy. Like, me, I believe in living to fight another day. I, mean, I just look at you. I'm assessing your face. Okay, dog. Obviously, yeah, I'd have I to literally, like, I wouldn't give it out. Obvi- like, I'd be like, oh, okay, dog. I also think about that. Because, um, like, I would be like, can I at least keep my ID? <laughs> like, you know, I need this document. Yeah, like, can I get my know? SIM card? You check. Hey, my, my memory card. So but yeah. I'm, man, I think I'm too old to fight, bro. Me, I don't want to be fighting niggas, bro. Like, dog, I... Like I, at first, like also I gauge people, man. I'm like, okay, I could probably take this guy on, mm. but let's see what what is a knife. Yeah, yeah, but that you never really know per se. You know what I mean? Like, you won't always know or see something. I have a go-to move though. What? I hit bath you. I pull as it's done. <laughs> Chest. <laughs> Crazy. Chest, cause like this is the cause if I hit you, yeah, body shots, all is ventricles and that. Body shots are very like critical when you fight, bro. Like chest butt you on the chest, then you literally hard to be like wheezing. <sighs> then after I'm hitting you with the knee, um, you see oh, two moves. combo street fight. I do lucky. <laughs> I kind of gave out my home. now niggas are gonna rob me and they know. Yeah, me. <laughs> 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 walking around like <laughs> <laughs> walking around like Cover that. The chest, nah, bro. Like I don't wanna be fighting, dog. I told my cousin, like if you're gonna fight, bro, fight alone. Fight alone, bro. What is gonna tell niggas, bro? I Insane. But yeah. yeah. But I mean, like, guys going out looking for fights. Like, imagine you with your guy and he's like, he just starts fighting for no reason. And you I feel bad like for the girl who does that, bro. Who dates the guy. Because like, I look at her. That's your boyfriend, Actually, by the way. You know what? This is a very interesting conversation. Before we wrap up, I want to get your opinion on this. So, when I was dating my ex, ne, uh, we went. The, the, the pillow one. Well, that's n- information that doesn't need to be get <laughs> <laughs> doesn't need to be put out there. I actually, I, I actually honest, I remember asking. Her, oh, yeah, yes. yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> and, uh, we went to the shop, ne? We went to the shop in the <laughs> suburban area. Yeah. Across the shop, clump of ones. I'm talking like seven, eight of them. Mm. So oh. she's she's walking next to me. So I hear a whistle coming from that direction. You check. So, but I'm walking like in front at this point. So I heard like. Twice, and then the third time I turn around, but she's behind me. You check. So I turn around and I want to now walk towards them. She put my hand, uh, hand against my chest and she said no. But now I always think back to the situation and I think to myself, because he did it again as we were leaving. Yeah. And I'm getting upset, my bro. Yeah. You check. I'm I can't imagine you literally like. Nah, that you mean. Is disrespectful. Don't do you shit mean. Like that. You know what I mean? Anyway, so to the point. So I want to like. I always uh, played on my mind because I was thinking, yeah, did she really stop me? 
Because she think I'd lose or what? Because <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, it's seven hours there. Yeah. But I would, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't yeah, know. no. You see, I would, I would only stop a guy because I think, yo, oh, if you get beaten up, it's over. It's yeah. over because what if they beat you also? Like, is your boyfriend take the beating no, too? Talking about the relationship. <laughs> you talking about the relationship? Yeah, I'm talking about the. Rela- it's over. Why? Oh, if you get no. beaten up. Because. It's embarrassing. Yes, yes, yes. Like, how are you going to protect yes, me? Yes, bro, you are such a toxic <laughs> person, bro. <laughs> Imagine in that situation. Stephen Owens, my bro. I'm actually going to call out the one that whistled. Maybe they slum or whatever. Then I must give one of them a smack. Like, it's yeah. just, you know? Yeah, at smack. least. At least, I should even be impressed the guy literally took like, and defended no, your honor. I don't honor. want to mm. watch the fight because I would cringe that whole, like, I, w- I, c- I won't be able to watch it. Really? Oh, now, isn't to it see, like, because this is the point that I was trying to make. Also, like, isn't it like, because it played on my mind. Isn't it now my pride basically was, you know, because like my thing is she stopped me, so it's like I didn't actually end up defending her on in a sense. Yeah, you get me. So, do you think would it play on your mind, so to say, like, if your boyfriend, let's say, tried to approach a bra who was like disrespecting you, and then you stopped him? Yeah. Would you think about that moment or not? I, I would say. <coughs> If you're gonna go over there and fight, make sure you win. <laughs> you <Yeah. laughs> because you're gonna fight and you lose, and I won't be here anymore. Just so might leave them after. Yeah. Literally walk away. Because now, if you know you can't fight, why are you going and like initiating fights? Yes, like to rather just leave it and be like, you know what, fuck. What if the booty can fight? Guy just wasn't his day, and you like you've seen him fight before. No, I I can't like. For me, it's embarrassing. Don't fight if you're gonna lose. I, I, bro, I was confident. I could take one of it. I was any one of them. I could probably take them. That's all the only reason. Oh, why I was seven like, of them though at once. I don't. Didn't I can. I have an excuse. It's seven of these. <laughs> yeah. I your, L, your L is justified. But exactly. But like then again, you saw the seven of those guys. Why did you go there and? Because I must. Because niggas love right. trying. At you know what, I can go on, just walk around that is can do nothing what they yeah, 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 compared fact. to getting humor in front of your girl. What? I feel like getting humor oh, getting in smacked front of your girl bro, is worse than that. Oh, okay, fears, I get, I get what like you're saying. I think it depends on the girl though, man. Because what if the girl's like, oh, baby, at least you tried. Now I know in the future do anything for me. You know, it's like a point, also like not really points. Yeah. On your case, not points. But I, it's, it's also like... Knowing me as a person, I'm very vengeful. So I would literally, because I know what shop they block at. Spin the block. Spin the Shout block. out to you. Uh, I'd do the same. Yeah, that would have been horrible. You, I'd do the same. And if you take the you video after, you see, I just beat these niggas. What if he does that? You get seven other guys and you go. But yeah, you know, know. one person, seven people. What in that, in that case? He, but like, I your boyfriend gets around. beaten. If, what, if that must happen, I mustn't be around. I don't want to witness it. I just want to hear, oh, your, your, wow, your, your boyfriend hit all these guys. I don't want to see it happen. Oh, wow. And I start flashing. Because now, if eyeballs. my man is fighting and he's losing and I'm seeing him lose, yeah, I'm going to feel like I must get, get a prick or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right but a shout out to you, though, because that's your na- that's natural no, response. That not. Natural response, she's not going to do it. She just feels like she should. No, <laughs> like but I would do it because now... Seven yeah, on true one. love. Like see, now I probably wife you after that. I probably oh. wife you after that. Yeah. You can't really watch me get beaten. But to be fair, like if you're dating someone eh, and then you in a situation and you decide, okay, now I'm gonna pick up a brick and they try to fight you, Abra's turning super saiyan, my bro. Because now he's hurting the woman now that's with. You understand? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. Now I'd flip. I'd flip the switch too. I'd flip the switch too. But now two. imagine I go help him and I beat the guys that he went to go fight. Yo, yo, I care. It's a different that dynamic. I would break up with you, me as the guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, sorry, you but are I much more before. man than me. Yeah. <laughs> you but <laughs> obviously, that situation isn't realistic because there's still seven Owens there. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So, but what if, like, we fight, you fighting these guys, you fighting them, and they, like, the crack is, like, low, mm. and then she gets, she's, like, she catches them, <laughs> you know? <laughs> when they, <laughs> when they literally, drop. like, about to de-bleed. Oh, yeah. Nah, I mean, it's, it's still, yeah. That's crazy though. That's a, that's a lot of things happening in the world, but I yeah, shout out yeah. to my girlfriend if she do that though for me. Yeah, guys, they know some in a relationship. Yeah. We miss a few episodes. The man have a whole girlfriend. Crazy. Wow. I was gonna say something, but hey. No. Uh, don't let's not relax. <laughs> <laughs> relax, baby. Just relax. I was gonna say something, but I don't want to. Yeah, it's cool. It's, it's cool, my Guys, 
Uh, that's it for one episode. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank Quick. you for joining us. Uh, Shout out to the reunion. It was a nice, nice catch up. Yeah, one hundred percent. Um, I think the consistency will come from now. <laughs> Sorry about yeah. that. Yeah, 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 yeah. We had to, we um, had to, and also a couple of things in well. store, man. If everything yeah. goes in like in motion, you're gonna be seeing more of us in different platforms. You this know, this is true. This is true. You know, so um, we trying to accommodate the people. Please, Pocket I'm broker, please sponsor us. The canal at all. You understand, yeah. and also anybody's willing to sponsor us, and also the blessers or blessing as mean. Put at least you uh-uh. know, 100 rand, uh-uh. uh, 100 rand, 200 rand extra. <laughs> Consider no. the broskies, you understand? The squad. You understand? I don't have no sponsors. Guys, uh, like, comment, share, yeah, subscribe. subscribe. Please, you understand? Turn on the notification bell. Um, yeah. And you'll be seeing much more of us as time goes, man. Absolutely. You um, know, we're going to be consistent and as close as near. We're trying to, trying to work towards next year. With like when yeah. we hit next year, we like announce, little goals announce, and stuff, announce, and just announce. accomplishing things. So yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. But it's been a steady. Thank you for everybody's been with us on this oh, yeah, ride. Yeah, yeah. You know, um, shout out to the people following us. Again, so sorry for the hiatus. Uh, we just had some stuff to, f- but like we're back now. We're gonna yeah. stop consistently. A lot, a lot, a lot, like a lot of moving. A lot of pieces are being put into play where it's gonna be better. And yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But that's been us. That's been it from Stana Six Zero Two Five Bricky, Adil Abrams, and then. Yasmin, I'm not going to say your surname. Yeah, let's just leave that. Don't say your surname. Peace, guys. Thanks. Bye. Yo, shout out.